Caterpillar Butterflies, a project by Demi, Nicole, Kyle, and Julian. What are some of the reasons that the monarch butterfly is starting to decline in population, and when did this start to become a problem? The monarch butterfly issue first became a problem from between 1996 and the year 2000, and it gets worse every year. In fact, WWF showed an image that showed that monarchs now take up less area in their acres in their nesting sites in Mexico than ever before. It shows that in the year 2003, 27.48 acres of forest were occupied by the nesting monarchs. It then shows a dramatic decrease. In fact, by 2013, only 1.65 acres were occupied in Mexico. And this problem is only getting worse and worse every year. How? Well, the monarch issue is caused by three main things, says an article on WWF's website. Deforestation of their forests in Mexico, drastic climate changes, and loss of milkweed. By deforesting their small areas of forest that they require, we take away so much population in a snap. One winter was absolutely no nesting site, and their population could be totally wiped out. Do we really need to take away more species due to deforestation? Think about it. The second thing causing the monarch chart to keep on declining is the climate. Due to global warming, climate is getting, out, is getting all out of balance all over the world. However, what is threatening the monarchs is the cold climate change. In Mexico, is that not why they migrate, uh, migrate out of Canada in the first place? This may st sound strange, but yes, they are freezing to death during hibernation in Mexico. So next time you think about climate change, include the poor monarchs in your thoughts. The last thing that is affecting the decline of population is the loss of milkweed. Without this vital producer, monarch butterflies would not even exist. They lay their eggs on it, the caterpillars feed, and even make their chrysalises on them. They are some of the only plants that the monarch butterfly can even eat. It is so easy to save the monarchs. Think before you buy something. Did this come from a forest in Mexico? Or maybe, will buying this make global warming and climate change more unsteady? You could even plant a milkweed garden to help the butterflies on their migration journey. Together, we can reverse that chart and help the monarch butterflies to strive forever. What role has climate change played in the endangering of the monarch butterflies? Climate change has played a huge role in the endangering of the monarch butterfly. One way climate change has played a role in endangering the monarch butterfly is that climate change could go either way. Long-term warming could be good for the monarch butterflies, but if it, that results in an increase of natural disasters, it would kill quite a few of the monarch butterflies, and that would be terrible. Another reason is that they are going to be wetter and colder winters, not far from this day which can the freeze the butterflies to death. But if the winter are dry and arid, then the monarch butterflies can live below the freezing mark. These are the reasons climate change has played in, in endangering the monarch butterflies. How does the limited amount of milkweed contribute to the loss of monarch butterflies? Like any food chain, the one that the monarch butterflies are a part of is fragile, especially when it comes to limiting factors. House building has limited the amount of milkweed available, in addition to milkweed being the only food source that mon monarch caterpillars can eat. Monarch butterflies lay their egg on milkweed leaves. Monarch butterfly eggs must be laid on milkweed leaf because once the hatched caterpillar eats its eggshell, it starts eating milkweed. Another reason it is important is that the butterflies migrate to Mexico. The butterflies lay four generations because they cannot survive the length of the migration. If there are no milkweed plants left, the butterflies will have nowhere to lay their eggs, so they will all die on the way to Mexico and will become extinct. Caterpillars must eat milkweed and only milkweed because it contains a chemical called alkaloid. Alkaloid makes the monarch caterpillars bitter in taste. When a predator eats it, it will remember never to do so again, recognizing the colorful bands on the monarch caterpillar. Due to mass loss of milkweed, monarch butterflies now have nothing to eat and no defense and nowhere to lay their eggs. What is being done currently to help the monarch butterflies and why is it not working? The area of forest in Mexico that monarch butterflies are migrating to is getting smaller and smaller each year. Many Mexican people are trying to conserve this area by learning more about where it is and the boundaries of it. However, this may not be working because since forests that they migrate to are getting destroyed, the monarchs might be moving to other nearby forests, which are not as protected. In addition to this, people in the monarchs' migration path 
plant milkweed to try and help their species thrive. Organizations such as WWF also try to start special projects to get people involved. However, the monarchs may be changing their migration paths due to several issues, such as the deforestation of their home in Mexico. Overall, those few people are trying to tackle this issue on their own. This is a problem that all of North America must contribute to help solve. North America is made up of people, and if each person helps, this will no longer be a problem at all. Each and every action will help. Start a fundraiser, raise awareness, and do everything you can to save the monarch butterfly. What will happen to the food chain if monarch butterflies become extinct? The monarch butterflies are important because they are a symbol of a healthy habitat. A habitat without them is a habitat not as healthy as they are now. Another reason that the butterflies are important is the habitat rich with monarch butterflies is a habitat rich with invertebrates. This means that, the, that this is a healthy ecosystem. If the butterflies become extinct, the spiders would go and eat the butterflies, but they would have no food source. This could affect the entire food chain, because if the lizard went to go eat the spiders, and the snakes eat those lizards, and the eagle eats the snakes, it would affect a huge, it would affect a great deal of the food chain. Because the secondary and above consumers will have no community, and they will, could die off. How can we help? A significant way to help save the monarch butterflies is to do the butterfly project. Find an empty yogurt container and punch breathing holes at the top. Take the container to a local field and find a milkweed plant. Once you've found the milkweed plant, look for a tiny white spot underneath it. This is a monarch butterfly egg. Collect some more leaves every once in a while as your caterpillar hatches and grows. Eventually, your caterpillar will make a chrysalis on the lid of the container. Once it breaks open from its chrysalis, a butterfly, you can release it and watch it fly away. My friend and I did this last summer and plan on doing it this spring summer again. It's a great way to help save the monarch butterflies. Please take a moment to QR scan this barcode. It will lead you to a website we have created about the monarch butterflies. Thank you.